All right, guys, so I need to do an eyeshadow palette declutter. I have so many eyeshadows, it's ridiculous. So I started going through this drawer and taking things out, but there's stuff buried in the back. So I'm just gonna kind of go through everything with you. I have tons of palettes everywhere. So I have these two Milani palettes. These are the Everyday Eyes palettes. And as much as I would like to keep them, oof, I don't know, I can't decide. Pigment's pretty good on these. I'm gonna put these aside and these are a maybe. I have some Buxom palettes here and I'm gonna keep all of these. I have these three Ciate London palettes that I'm gonna keep. I have this Warm Nudes eyeshadow palette from Bizart, or Biziart. I am gonna keep it. This one was sent to me a long time ago and I did review it and I do like it. I don't love like super orangey or red tones, but I will use like these oranges like blended with some browns. I just don't like like my lid to be very orangey or coppery or too red, but I do like this palette, so I'm gonna keep it. This is the Neutral Mattes palette. I love it, I'm gonna keep it. This is the Jouer Essential Matte and Shimmer palette. I'm going to keep that one. This one is by Tarte. It's called Dream Big. Oof, a maybe, I might. So this one's a maybe, I might get rid of that one. I have the so I have this, these art palettes, the Cool Mattes too. Definitely keeping this one. This is the Urban Decay Moon, Dan Moon Dance palette. And definitely keeping this one. I love these shadows. This is the Winky Luxe Kitten palette. Um, This one's a maybe. I might get rid of that one, we'll see. I'm gonna put it aside. Their Tarte palette. This one is called Make Magic Happen. I wasn't, I don't think I was very impressed with this one. Let me swatch it. This one's a maybe. I don't know, I think I just don't like the shimmers but the mattes are nice. So this is the Stila Matte and Metal eyeshadow palette. This one I reviewed and I actually do like this one. Let me see, there we go. I feel like the lighting was too bright. Um, so I'm gonna keep this one. This is the Balm Appetit, the Balm Appetit palette. So I like some of these shadows, but not all of them. Like the copper, it's so pigmented and beautiful, but I just don't love coppers because they lean too orange for me. And I hope you guys can see. But I do like the other shades in here. Like I like everything else, I think, except for like this one. No, that one's pretty too. I'm gonna keep this one for now. My meat matte palettes from the Balm, I'm definitely gonna keep those. So I have the Urban Decay Ultimate Basics palette. I'm gonna keep that one. This one is by Crown Brush. I got it in a boxy charm. This one's broken. I'm gonna get rid of this one. It's called the Rock Your Look, but I'm gonna get rid of that palette. This is Lorac Nude Necessities. This is just like a very soft kind of everyday palette. I'm gonna keep it. This is Fiona Styles, which is no longer available, but I really love these cool tone shades. I'm gonna keep this one. This is Pure. So Ray Diaries, this one's pretty, I'm gonna keep that one. There's some Ulta eyeshadows in these little, these are so old, I don't even know if they sell these palettes anymore. These are the Uni Cosmetics palettes, they're mag magnetized. But these are Ulta eyeshadows, which I decluttered some other ones in a previous like single de eyeshadow declutter, so I'm gonna get rid of those eyeshadows in here. And the same with these, there's some Ben Nye and some Ulta eyeshadows, I'm gonna get rid of those. And this is my Gwen Stefani and Urban Decay palette. I'm going to keep that. Random palettes as well. This one is by Pixie. I'm going to keep it. It's the Mixed Metals palette. This is the Pixie and Wiley palette. I do like that one. I'm gonna keep it. So this one's the like highlighter palette with Dulce Candy. And I'm gonna keep that one. This one is with Chloe Morello. This one, I don't really care for the eyeshadows a whole lot in this palette. 
but I do like the blushes. I'm just gonna keep this one for now. And this is the Pixi um, Sheer Sunshine Palette. I feel like, there we go. I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna keep all these actually. So this is the It's Judy Time Palette. I'm sorry, there's like a reflection. And then this one is the Reflex Light and Natural Beauty. So I'm gonna keep all of those. This one is the Summer Nights Palette. It says Mad Love by Juno & Co. I did a review on this and a look. I will keep this one. This is the Desert Oasis by BH Cosmetics. I'm for sure keeping that one. I love that. It is by Crown Brush. I'm gonna get rid of this one. This one I had in my last eyeshadow palette declutter. It's super old. I still haven't used it, so I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm getting rid of it. It's Smashbox Wonder Vision Mega Palette. This is an Urban Decay palette. This is the Vice, and I don't know which one. Um, this one I might get rid of, actually. I think I'm gonna get rid of that. This is the NYX Lingerie. I like this palette a lot, so I'm gonna keep that. Morphe and Kathleen Lights. You know, I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. I get rid of all these Perfect Filter palettes by NYX. I don't want these anymore. This is the Smashbox Full Exposure Palette. Oh, no, these, I'm getting rid of this. This is so old and I just don't want that. This is the Smashbox Shape Masters. Uh, I think I'm gonna get rid of this as well. This is a cargo palette. I'm gonna get rid of this one. This is Cargo Vintage Escape eye palette. These are ingot shadows and I still haven't used them, but I should pull them out. They're so soft. Why would I not use those? So I'm gonna keep these, both of them. That one's a little more cool. This one's kind of cool and some bronzy shades. Keeping those. L'Oreal La Nude palettes. Although I like these, I think I'm gonna pass them along. These It Cosmetics palettes. I think I'm gonna get rid of these too. I like them, but I'm gonna get rid of all of these. I got at Ross a long time ago, and although they're good, I'm gonna get rid of them. I just don't need this many palettes, it's just crazy. Too Faced Peach palettes. I'm gonna keep that one. Chocolate bar. I don't know, these are, these are maybes. I think I might get rid of those. Okay, Naked Keeping. Naked 2, this is Naked 1 I'm keeping, keeping this one, Naked 3, and I have Naked Cherry, which I like, I'm going to keep that one, Reloaded I'm keeping, Naked Heat, never used it, but I feel like it's still pretty wearable even though it's more warm tone which is not always my favorite when they lean too orangey but I feel like it doesn't only this one here so I'm gonna keep that for now naked heat which I'm gonna keep as well got the shade and light from Kat Von D I'm gonna keep keep this one from Kat Von D this one is the monarch palette the Kat Von D metal matte palette, which I'm gonna keep. This is the Shade and Light Shimmer, I think. Shade and Light Glimmer. I'm gonna keep this one. I don't think I've ever touched it. Bondi Lolita, I'm gonna keep. I love these colors. Urban Decay on the Run. Is it on the run? Born to Run. Never used it. Keeping it though. Okay, back talk. Going to keep that. These are just like my kind of colors. I like mauve tones. And these I've never used. Urban Decay Beached, On The Run. These are both On The Run, but they're like those mini ones. Bailout and Detour, I'm gonna keep both of those. I have Anastasia, let's see. Master by Mario, I'm gonna keep that one. This is the Self Made palette, I'm gonna keep that one. Modern Renaissance I'm keeping, Riviera I'm keeping, 
Norvina, Prism, Keeping, Soft Glam, Subculture. This is a blush kit from Anastasia. I'm going to keep that. Radiant Huda Beauty Desert Dusk, which I'm going to keep. I have never used this, but I'm keeping it. Keep Melt Cosmetics 27. All right, so I have the Tartlet Toasted, which I think I'm going to get rid of this one. This one just leans a little too coppery orange for me. I'm gonna keep the Pretty Vulgar Phoenix Rising and this is the Pretty cool Vulgar Nightingale, which is cool tone. I'm gonna keep both of those. Keep the Tarte Aspen Novard, Ovard palette. I'm gonna get rid of this Barely There too from Models Own. I have two Morphe palettes here. This is the 15B. I'm gonna keep that one. This is the 9C. Fenty Beauty. I got it on sale and I never used it. Kilowatt Foil. And I really wanted it to use as eyeshadows. Although these three here are kind of warm for me. But I was like into these cooler tone ones up here. So we'll keep it for now. So I have these here. This is by Blink. It was a BoxyCharm exclusive. These are like super pigmented. Those are really pretty. Just for those two shades, I think I'm gonna keep it in this one over here. I'm gonna get rid of this palette. These are all from Amazon. They sent them to me and I did review them and they are really good, but I just feel like I'm just never gonna reach for these. But they have some really cool colors. I will link that video below in case you wanna check it out. But somebody else can use these. They're by Miskos. Like they're super pigmented too. All four of those. This one is by Profusion. I'm getting rid of it. It's the Pro Concealer Contour Palette. I've never used it and I probably won't. This is Melissa Michelle with Ulta. All of these are really pretty. I'm going to get rid of this. So this is Alistair's Looking Glass by Urban Decay. I'm just so much more picky now with when I buy stuff. These are really pretty, but the packaging is just so bulky. I'm gonna get rid of this. So I have these Tarte ones right here. Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Volume 3. I really like this one, I'm gonna keep it. This one is Volume 2. I'm gonna keep that one. Believe in Yourself, I love this palette. These metallics are beautiful, I'm gonna keep it. This is the original Rainforest of the Sea, I'm gonna keep that one. Sigma Chrome, Chroma Glow. I'm going to keep that. Pure Midnight Masquerade Palette. I am actually going to get rid of this one. This is the NARS or De Plague. I'm going to keep that beautiful palette. Keep all these NARS palettes. This one is Unfiltered 2. This one is Exposed. If I can open the damn thing. This one's exposed, I'm keeping that one. This is Wanted One, I'm gonna keep that one as well. This is Naked Cosmetics, and this was the Holographic Highlighter Collection. These are really pretty. I wouldn't use these as highlighters though. Oh, I think I'm gonna keep that for now. This is the Kylie, Kylie Pressed Illuminating Powder. These are like a um, really silky smooth texture. I love this. Oh, so cool, I'm gonna keep that. This is a Kylie, I never used this one. Kylie, are the names not on here? I don't remember what this was called. Apparently she doesn't put the names on the actual palette, but I love purples. So I'm gonna keep that. Pure 18 times 18, I don't know how you say it. I have not used this, so I'm gonna keep that for now. I have two of these, I think because one was broken, so Ulta sent me a new one. This is the Pure Visionary palette. Oh, 
This is beautiful. Look at that. Oh yeah, see this one is all broken. This one's broken, it's like just messy. So I'm gonna give this one away. Somebody can use the other shadows in here. And I'm gonna keep the other one. By Koki Cosmetics. And I used them a couple times and wasn't like super, super impressed with these. I think I'm gonna get rid of these. So this is the Koki Utopia, and this one is the Peachy Queen. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of those. I never use these, these are by Pro Profusion. They're the Mixed Metals palettes, and they look really good. But I think I'm going to get rid of these. Alamad Cosmetics. Palette. This is a beautiful. It's very pigmented. Volume one. Keeping that one. Milani Bold Obsessions. Keeping that. Soft and sultry. Definitely keeping that. Pure Passion. I'm going to keep. Builded Desires. Um. I think I'm going to keep it for now, but I'll have to think about that one. Most loved mats. I'm definitely keeping. I'm going to get rid of this one. It is the Juno Co. Summer Nights. I just feel like I don't need it, so I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to get rid of these two tart ones that I showed earlier. And I think I'm going to get rid of these Milani ones as well. And I think I'm going to get rid of the Winky Lux kitten palette and the Too Faced palettes. So this is the Tarte Love, Trust, and Fairy Dust. I'm gonna keep that one. Avla Dreamy eyeshadow palette. I've never used it, but it's beautiful. I'm gonna keep that. Laura Lee Nudie Patootie. I'm going to keep that. Avla Happy Hour. Keeping that. I have the other one and I do not know where I put it. And then these are by Dose of Colors. Pretty cool, keeping Sassy Sienna's. I'm not keeping because it's very orange and I just don't even want to keep that. Baked Browns, Blushing Berries, and Mobs. Mobs is my favorite, so I'm gonna keep those. I'm gonna keep this one. This is by Marc Jacobs. It is the Stiletto palette. It's cool tone, so I'm definitely keeping that. Get rid of this Boxy Charm and Pure Cosmetics palette. It is. I think it's just the Boxy Charm and Pure palette. Getting rid of that. Ace Butte, pretty, but a little bit too vibrant for me. I'm gonna get rid of that. City Color Boho Chic, getting rid of that. The only one I wanna keep from this Ofra palette, these are just Ofra singles, is um, this one, Bliss, which is a highlighter, but it also comes in a eyeshadow form. It's a really pretty, I don't know if you can even see that. I'm gonna get rid of the rest of those. All right, I have BH Cosmetics palettes here. This is with Shan XO. I'm going to keep this. The Solar Flare I'm keeping. Aurora Lights I'm keeping. The Festival palette I'm keeping. I'm gonna keep these for now. These are the Glam Reflections Gilded. Rosé, yeah, that's a really pretty color scheme. Smoke. And L'Amour. This one is the Sylvia Gamey, I think her name is. I'm gonna keep that one. Opalescent, I'm keeping. Love in London. Yeah, I haven't used that, but those colors are really pretty. In Hawaii, I'm keeping. In Blushing in Bali, I'm keeping. Face Chocolate Gold, I'm gonna keep that. Huda Beauty Mob Obsessions, I'm gonna keep. Anastasia Singles, I made this and never used it. 
And I got some Stila and Inglot shadows in here. I'm going to keep the Sephora Pro palettes I'm keeping. That one is New Nudes. Cool. Editorial. Oof, I don't know. That one's a little vivid for me. But I'm going to keep it for now. And Warm. these BH Zodiac palettes. Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, Love Signs, and just the original Zodiac palette, which I love this palette. So I'm keeping those. More Morphe palettes. This is the Jaclyn Hill palette, which I'm going to keep. I got the 24G. Oof, I don't know. I like some of these shades, but not sure. Like, I like all this top row. I like these here. I think these, like, warm pink shades are making me question it, but I'm going to keep it for now, I think. And then I have the Dare to Create, which is really pretty. So I'm going to keep that one. This NYX Swear By It, I've never used it, but I'm going to keep that. I've... I'm going to keep this Urban Decay one, or what is it, the Artistry? I don't remember, but it's like metallic shade, so I'm going to keep that. Just Peachy by Too Faced I'm going to keep. Pretty Fun and Fearless. I'm going to keep, this is a collaboration with Chloe Morello. This Carity Unicorn Dreams, like, this speaks to my soul. I love these, like, pastel shades. And just peachy, I'm gonna keep. Although it has some pretty orangey shades. I haven't used either one of those, so I'm gonna keep those for now. This is the Natural Love by Too Faced. I'm gonna keep that. All right, so this is my Violet Boss. I'm gonna keep that one for now, the Flamingo palette. Might go. No cosmetics. I'm gonna get rid of this. This is the Illuminate palette by Sephora. And I'm gonna keep that. This one is the holographic one. I'm gonna keep that. Third Rain. This one was the Queen of Hearts. I'm gonna keep that. This um, Lime Prime Venus 3. Never used it. Gonna keep it though. I love these colors. Venus XL. Dude, these are so pretty. I gotta keep that. And Venus XL. Oh, that's XL2. This is XL1. All right, so this is the Jouer Ultra Foiled. I'm gonna keep that one. Jouer Skinny Dip, so pretty. I'm gonna keep that one. These Magnifies Crimson, these are by Rimmel London. I haven't used these ones. So I'm gonna keep these ones. There was a couple other ones that I got rid of because I didn't like them, but I haven't used these ones yet. The Stelassi palettes, I like this cool tone one. This one is Spellbound. It's really pretty too. Keep those. This is the Iconic Beauty Downtown palette. It's a dupe for the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk, I believe. I posted some swatches on my Instagram. I'm gonna keep that one. Yes, Cosmetics, I can't remember. It came broken and shattered. And this is the eyeshadow palette. It looks really pretty. I'm gonna keep that. I don't think you can find this anymore. And this, unfortunately, is so broken. But look at that pigment, it's so good. Can you see? Well, I'll keep that in the packaging just so it doesn't make a mess everywhere. I hope you guys can hear me. I don't have my microphone on. <laughs> this is the Violet Voss hashtag palette. This is a maybe. I gotta think about that one. Matt About You. Definitely keeping that one. And this is the Holy Grail palette. Keeping that one. These are Jeffree Star palettes. This is the Androgyny palette. I'm gonna keep that. These other two I never even touched. This is so pretty though. 
I'm gonna keep that thirsty. This is the alien palette. And I'm gonna keep that for sure. Juvia's Place palettes, the Nubian 3 Coral palette. I'm gonna keep, I'm not sure how I feel about this. I'm gonna play with it some more. The Nubian, this is the original, I guess. I don't wanna keep this. It's a little bit too coppery for me. Getting rid of that. And I don't think I've used the rest of these. The Deuce, keeping that one. I really like the color scheme in this one. The Warrior, I'm gonna keep that for now. The Saharan too. The Masquerade. And the Magic. Lastly, for this part of the declutter, I think I'm gonna have a part two because I have more drawers full of palettes. This is crazy. So I'm gonna keep, I think, all of these. This is the Joseph Colors Desi and Katie palettes, which I've never touched. And I got the Smashbox Cali Contour palette that I'm gonna keep. I have these City Mini palettes from Maybelline I'm gonna keep. And I have these wet and wild ones that I've never used. I'm gonna keep. And then I have these three by L'Oreal. No, L'Oreal and Maybelline. Paradise Enchanted Lemonade Craze and Soda Pop. So I'm gonna keep all those for now. And then I think I'm gonna get rid of these Ofra shadows in both of these palettes. So. Let's count up how many palettes I decluttered today because I feel like I did quite a few. So we'll just say this is like one Ofra palette, these three here. just say 51 52 so 52 that's pretty good and I have to go through more so so I will see you guys in part two thanks for watching bye